Hello everyone, and I'm Casey Del Basso, and this is Fuse, Fairfield University's news broadcast. On Tuesday, February 24th, the annual FUSA elections will take place. This year, Anif McDonald is running unopposed for the position of president, while Olivia Torji also runs unopposed for vice president. Only one person signed up to run for the class of 2016 Senate as well. Write-in candidates will fill the four remaining Senate seats for the upcoming senior class. The last time there was only one candidate for FUSA president was in 2012 when Rob Vogel ran for the second term. Fairfield University officially has its own unique brand of beer. Ten Point Buck is a honey Kolsch style beer that is now available at the levee. The beer is brewed at Half Full Brewery in Stamford, Connecticut, and is the result of a combined effort between the brewery and the current levy bartenders. Only one keg has been brewed thus far, so students 21 and over should stop by and try it while they still can. And now here's Lily with sports. Thanks, Casey. The Fairfield Stags basketball team finally got off the schneid this weekend with a victory over the St. Peter's Peacocks. Freshman Tyler Nelson led the Stags with 26 points, and Malcolm Gilbert ignited the team with five blocks. Senior Steve Johnson started his last game at the Webster Bank scoring two points. The woman fell to the Siena Saints in Felicia de Cruz's last home game. She ends her career 10th all-time in career assists. We wish Felicia and Steve the best moving forward. After falling in the first game ever at Rafferty Stadium, the men's lacrosse team bounced back with wins over Providence and Manhattan. In their 15-4 win over the Jaspers, Charlie Schneider tallied five goals and Kellen McLinden added four assists. The women's lacrosse also won their most recent game against the Rutgers Scarlet Knights. It was a nail-biter as the game was tied at nine, but two consecutive goals by Maeve Quinn and Jamie Leon were too much for Rutgers as the Stags improved to 2-1. to one. Now to Caitlin with World News. Thanks, Lily. Breaking news, February 22nd. Mall of America, one of the country's largest retail establishments, has elevated its security after new threats were made in an online video. These threats came from a Somali militant group affiliated with al-Qaeda called al-Shabaab. Fox News reporting that this six-minute-long video shows the terrorists celebrating the 2013 Westgate Mall attack that took place in Kenya, killing more than 60 people. An image of Mall of America and its GPS coordinates were also featured in the film. Mall of America stated, quote, We will continue to follow the situation along with law enforcement and will remain vigilant as we always do in similar situations. Rumor has it that the technology mogul Apple may be coming out with its latest gadget. Wait for it, an Apple car. Apple has yet to speak out on the alleged stories. However, we know their deal. While Apple has potential to rock the automotive industry, the company is known for taking the technology world by storm and playing its cards close to the vest. Stay tuned on this developing story. And just when you thought it couldn't get any messier, it did. The Northeast was slammed again by another set of winter storms this past week. Temperatures hit record-breaking lows in Central Park last Friday, where it was a frigid two degrees. Many flights were canceled due to the extreme weather conditions. Snow continues to pile up in Boston on top of the nearly 60 inches that has already fallen this month. However, Mother Nature has sent us a brief treat of warm weather, with temperatures climbing to 40 degrees on Sunday, February 22nd, melting away some of our winter woes. Hang in there less than one month until spring. And here's Sarah with entertainment. Thanks, Caitlin. The 87th Academy Awards were last Sunday, and Neil Patrick Harris didn't disappoint. Opening with a clever musical number featuring Anna Kendrick and Jack Black, the actor put on an entertaining show audiences have grown accustomed to when he headlines. Hollywood's new prince, Eddie Redmayne, took home Best Actor for The Theory of Everything, while Julianne Moore won Best Actress for Still Alice. And in honor of the 50th anniversary of the release of The Sound of Music, Lady Gaga sang a heartwarming tribute. Will we be having another royal wedding to look forward to in the future? I don't know if we'll be hearing wedding bells anytime soon, but rumor has it Prince Harry has a new girlfriend that is none other than everyone's favorite Hogwarts graduate, Emma Watson. The actress and UN ambassador reportedly met the younger prince through a mutual friend, and they are just seeing where it goes. Since the birth of his nephew, Harry has moved down to fourth in line for the throne, hopefully taking some of the pressure off of both sides of this new relationship. Speaking of relationships, it does sound like we will be having an American royal wedding in the very near future. 
18-time gold medalist Michael Phelps proposed to his girlfriend, Nicole Johnson, and the former Miss California said yes. The couple shared their engagement with an adorable picture in the snow, with Johnson very prominently showing off her new ring. That's all for entertainment. Back to Casey. And that's all the time we have for this episode of Fuse. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.